YouTube universe, what is good? All right, so it has been a very long while since I recorded a video and I just want to get caught up. It is like the end of summer and um, it is time to get some fall, uh, my fall crops down. Now this is probably maybe the first time I'm actually um, having a successful transition um, previous years, I was not successful in getting a good fall harvest or a fall garden. So this is another another attempt to get it done. And I think I'm pretty good at it. So uh, by the way, do not mind this here. I am not sponsoring um, Simply Safe. It just so happened I'm out here working and I, I needed another t-shirt on. So... Um, I do work for Simply Safe and everything, but this is by no means um, trying to sponsor them or trying to put them out there like that. Um, I get paid from them in other ways. I do work for them. So again, um, I am this is I am not advertising these people at all. Okay, I love the company, but I'm not doing that. But anyway, so what I got going on now? Um, I just finished putting down my Brussels sprouts. Um, did some a little bit of maintenance to my garden and just trying to get a good plan as to what I'm going to do this fall into the winter and then when the spring comes what I will be doing there so let me show you what I have going on so far so in these four pots here I have some Brussels sprouts going um, this has just been put down today um, I used the uh, previous soil um, I think it was from a tomato plant, but uh, I used that as a base for about at least a couple of them. And I um, I have some compost over on top of it. So I, I watered it down real good. And um, the reason I have it here up on the porch is because if I have it out, you know, on the, on the ground floor, if you would, uh, my fear is that the wildlife, uh, deer, rabbits, things of that nature will come and eat it up uh, like they have in the past. So um, I figured I'd bring them up here on the porch. So um, these nice looking grow bags here, stars and stripes here. Uh, one, I am a very patriotic person and um, anything America I love. But I found these in a wholesale, um, in a wholesale store, uh, for just seventeen dollars. It was a three piece, and they look so nice. I, I, I love them. I love them. This will be used again. I'm very sure uh, in the near future. But for now, it is being used to uh, to plant my um, shucks, my Brussels sprouts. So. This is what I got going there. I still have my mint going and I'm just now seeing this, but it looked like it might be trying to go to seed. So I'm gonna have to do some maintenance on this, but uh, this was a lot more uh, bushier than it has been. Um, I need to give it some TLC, but um, I was able to make some basil mint tea out of this. I have uh, basil um, somewhere out in my garden but this has been awesome. In this little pot here, I have some uh, oregano and also some green onions. So I just put these green onions uh, in here um, maybe about a week ago or so, but they were uh, the leftovers from some green onions that I bought from out of a store. And I thought to myself, hey, you know, rather than keep buying them, let me just go ahead and keep reusing it. So this has been in addition to the oregano. Okay, so out here, I still have to uh, get this fabric laid out right here. So this is still a work in progress right here. But in this planter here, I have some kale as well as in that one there. Now in the spring, I had so great, so much of a great success with kale. Uh, I was literally coming out here, pulling them off out of, out of my garden and um, making a salad with them. And again, I was 
so, so amazed. So I'm gonna do that again um, this year. In this bed here, I have, uh, I believe this is romaine lettuce, uh, some Chinese cabbage uh, in this row right here. So this is my, this is my romaine. My pepper and what was supposed to be a garlic bed, um, I didn't do too well with the garlic, but um, oddly, my peppers are now just coming in for this particular bed. Now, mind you, uh, these were planted well in the summer, so I don't know what the delayed response is, but I am not going to pull this uh, just yet. Uh, I have uh, habanero, habanero, Tabasco, 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 and that big one right there, that is my, I believe that is a ghost, either a ghost or a Carolina Reaper, one of the two. And then in this bed here, I have collard greens, and then I don't know what I was thinking, but I have some peas and something else, maybe some cabbage or uh, kale or something. I don't remember what it is, but um, yeah, it's growing. I can see the peas there. They have like these tendrils that's already coming out. So um, I'm gonna have to decide on what to do with this portion of this bed here. But my collard greens, boy, when they come out, it's time to eat. In this bed here, I have some, some more collard greens. Um, I got three bell peppers here, uh, three bell pepper plants that is, and they're still producing as well. Uh, look at that one there. A little bit misshapen, but it will still be used. And I have another one here, and I got a little uh, small one right there. Uh, in the back here, and this is probably a mistake, but I have some kale here as well. Uh, it appears to be thriving very well, but um, you know, I had some space uh, back here and I, I, I wanted to use it. I didn't just want you know, that empty space to be there. So I just plant some kale there. I have some more peas. And what I tend to do with this is I'm gonna have these peas uh, basically just climb up the, uh, these bamboo poles here. Uh, so I got to get them secure to the pole. Uh, I don't know if they will last that way, but uh, again, this is my first year growing uh, peas. So we'll see what happens. And guess what? Got some more collard greens. So it's a bit windy out here and uh, some of my, uh, they got that little lean going to it, but uh, just filling them now. They, uh, they got that nice, firm uh, texture to them. So we'll see what happens as they uh, as they mature. Um, my cayenne plant, um, it is, I have four back here still, and I think it's probably time to get these pulled up. I do see some green uh, peppers still on here, so, I will probably wait maybe another couple weeks or so before I dig this up and repurpose this particular planter. Uh, my ghost pepper plant is producing. And again, it's pretty odd to me that this time of year, I mean, it is getting um, cooler and everything, but uh, it is very odd to me that this plant will still produce. Um, another science project, but uh, I have some more, um, what's this, Brussels sprouts. So I got Brussels sprouts here, all in the front here. And then back here, um, I don't remember what all this is back here. Um, I just threw some seeds out just because I had it. But uh, I'm starting to think that it's maybe some spinach or collard greens. I threw that out for seed 
or ass seat, I mean. Now, remember this bed here that I built? So, eggplant uh, is somewhat still producing, uh, a little bit slow. Got a nice little small one here. And a nice uh, firm texture on it. It looked like it may be slowly, you know, coming to a stop. Um, I have some some more peppers. My poblano peppers back here. Green peppers. Look at that little bud there. And you know, I got some peppers here as well. Another eggplant that has um, some, uh, you know, plenty up here. But in the back here, again, I had space and I just wanted to put some food back here. So I have some, some more kale and then one, two, and three uh, collard greens, more collard greens. So um, I'm still trying to figure out what to do with my grape, blackberry, and grape tree uh, bush, I guess. Um, it was a, there was a lot more on here, especially this one, but um, some worm or bug came and ate all the leaves off of it. So um, it just moved it and everything. This was maybe last week or so, but um, I need to figure out how to get this either in the ground or in a large enough bed so that I can, you know, start taking better care of it. But more to come on that. If you have any ideas, please let me know. Now over here, guess what? More collard greens. <laughs> uh, this here, um, I, I know they're too close together and everything, but um, my intent was to just go seed in the ground and watch it grow. So uh, I'm not gonna worry too much about thinning this out. I may change my mind, but this here, this was supposed to be lettuce. And in that pot right there, there's some basil. Um, yeah, the basil has been a lifesaver for me. Not really like a lifesaver, but um, it was right on time. I have been harvesting a lot from it. I think I've had, um, I think I've had this now for about four or five months now. And I've been harvesting from it at least uh, every other week or so. And it is still, concern for this is how it will do in winter. I think what I'm going to do is just get some type of cover um, just to cover this up once the winter starts hitting and if and when we get snow ice. <laughs> um, I got some carrots, a bucket full of carrots and as you can see here there's something there that's crowning as well as on this one here. So this has been in here, I think maybe about two, about two months or so. Um, I'm gonna give this a little bit more time before I start picking out of it. Um, this will be the second time that I've grown carrots and I think the first time that I did it, I did it a little too late because um, they were quite small, maybe two or three inches or so. About two inches actually. Um, this here, I believe that's my dragon's breath and small peppers. Um, yeah. And I don't remember what that is. Don't remember what this is. And actually that is a habanero plant and this one is a habanero plant as well. So again, it is cool. Now, one of the things that I've noticed that I will not be doing this year in regards to my pepper plants, um, if you remember Pepper Row, um, all of my peppers were all in pots. Um, I had um, 
some parts that I just weren't needed to use and was excited because I was using these peppers for my for the various sauces that I uh, that I was going to be growing my peppers from. Um, one of the things that I noticed was the size of my peppers. Uh, for instance, my jalapeno peppers. I knew one year I grew jalapeno peppers. I had them in the ground, and they were they were nice size, uh, anywhere from three to four inches, with a uh, about one inch circumference or so. Uh, very nice size peppers. Um, this year they were maybe a quarter of that size, and I'll show you what I'm so talking about for my peppers and i understand yeah they they need they they're about to go they're they, these are done anyway my two cayams these are done i'm gonna harvest these and uh i'm gonna pull the pull the seeds out of them but getting back to my jalapenos so these jalapenos have been on here for well over about maybe a week or so and as you can see they're not really, it's not re a real good size to them, in my opinion, anyway. I've seen them a lot way bigger than that. I've grown them a lot way bigger than that. And um, this is all I've been getting uh, for this for this season. So, not sure what to do with these. Um, I might keep them. Um, I don't. I don't know. We'll see. But... The size of the pot, as you can see, that's this is what I've been using. Now, I'm not sure if maybe the root of the plant itself is uh, is crowded and giving me small peppers like this. And I mean, it's, I mean, they seem like it's going good. As you can see, that's it's still flowering, but I don't know. But one of the things I will not do this uh, next season is put them in pots, especially small pots like this. I'm going to not be so um, excited about planting peppers and just be a little bit more uh, strategic in how I plant them and what I'm planting. But uh, if you have any ideas or any suggestions as to why this happened, please uh, let me know. Um, my, I forgot what, uh, Carolina Reapers and my ghost plants. So there's nothing on the Reapers except for one flower. And my Reaper, I mean, I have some, some green peppers on here. I will wait until the uh, fall literally hits before I bring these indoors. I do plan to save these and uh, at least one of uh, one of the ghosts and one of the reapers. I do plan to overwinter these or bring them in a the house so that uh, just as an experiment to see if I'm able to bring them back next year. Fingers crossed. Uh, going back to the eggplant. Not much going on on the eggplant. No flowers that I'm seeing so far. Um, this has been a good year for this. I've been harvesting uh, a lot from it. My wife has been very happy about it. I'm not much of an eggplant fan, but uh, my wife was pretty excited. Now that I'm looking at it, there are some, uh, appears to be blooms on it. Not blooms, but uh, flower buds, so. We'll see what happens in the weeks to come and see if this is gonna actually uh, produce anything. Well, everybody, YouTube universe, that is my tour, my fall garden tour for this year. Um, stay tuned, you know, throughout the year, I will be uh, doing some harvests as, um, as they come along. I will um, you know, post, you know, whatever comes up you know if i'm bored one day i will uh post something but in the meantime trust the good man upstairs because he is the sustainer and the provider of all put a seed in the ground whether it's a actual food seed or maybe a monetary seed but whatever it is be faithful to it and watch it grow
with everything, hey, y'all take care. Put a seed in the ground.